Welcome back, welcome back. Thank you. Uh, this is winner's finals. Yep, yep. Key versus Valadin. So, Valadin, of course, I believe the defending hat champion has yeah, some yeah. experience in the matchup, but we'll have to see how he's tested against one of SoCal's best snakes. This will be really interesting because Lucina is just not a ranged character. Lucina is just all getting in and using that sword to, sword to just dominate up close. So this is going to be a very clear spacing versus non-spacing matchup because he probably cannot stand boxing for too long versus the ladder. Right, as you said, two very opposite playstyles. Snake will just hang back, throw out some of the grenades, go in for trades, go in for a lot of safer plays. While Vladin will not necessarily butt mash, he will be the one throwing out more up close options. Well, that's the thing, right? Is that Vladin is, as we've seen already, a very patient player. And if you're going up against Snake, you want to be a patient player because Snake is all about catching you doing some dumb thing and then using the C, like the C4 there, right? He caught Vladin not paying enough attention to the C4 and the lack of patience cost him. So Vladin is going to need to play this one very carefully if he wants to get through key zone. He will. Uh, Vladin, of course, some of the keys to this matchup. Nair. Ah, uh, keys. I, that is a pun I've accidentally made before. Nair, as you saw right there, is very useful for catching Snake if he's trying to reverse momentum with a grenade pull. But. Oh no, the air dodge directional wrong way into the Ooh, stage. He jumped, had an air dodge buffered, and that is death in this game. It really is. When you see it, it happen, it's just so unfortunate. But still, he's at a high percent. He, there's a good chance that Vlad's going to get the kill soon. And if he can get it soon enough, he'll still be in this game pretty he well. He only needs a single setup, and even just a rogue hit might do it. An F smash will do it. Lucina's. F smash is so ridiculously safe and fast that it has no right being such an effective kill move, okay? I cannot tell you the number of times I have died with that monstrosity. Typically see it towards the ledge. Just That was a great of... setup. There was like three grenades, and he managed to get them on the, with the dash deck boot, and that probably did like 40 damage. It did indeed. Some of these grenade pulls and the up tilt calls out the jump from Vladin. He's already at 116%. Yeah, he needs to he recover is, around this barrage of grenades. He is setting up the wall. He's like dropping grenades off the side. And Aladdin cannot get around this. He can't. Just key matching his jump with the back air. And even these grenade trades, as his own percent rises up, so does Vladin's. And going into the last stock with a 60, 70, 80% lead, it's that's just going to be something Key's aiming for. That's one of the big threats of facing a snake, right? Is that even if you land the hit, Oftentimes, we'll have a grenade in hand, and if you strike him with a grenade in hand, it's going to blow up and hurt both of you. And suddenly, you're taking those bad trades. But the problem is, Snake lives longer than you. And as you can see, Valadin's nearly at the end of his game right here. Certainly. And it's just all those bad trades. Certainly, there is no better character in the game for turning a small lead into a large lead. And that up tilt, that large hitbox hits in front of him and sends Valadin straight upwards. He so takes effective. game one. You saw it be the key to his win over HLB. Now it was the key to the win over here. Well, no, Grenade was the key to the win over here, but it was the clincher. Certainly. The key, one might even say. You could say that, yes. And by one, I mean me. I'm saying the key. He's saying the key. I'm saying the key. The pun gets tired. Uh, <laughs> now, Volatin does have a Mario. So if this game goes south, I imagine we might see it in game three, but he's going to stick with the main here. The, it makes a lot of sense, though, for him to move, and um, especially to somewhere without the, without low platforms, right? The platforms are high up and they move around, so they're difficult to, for uh, grenade setups to work there, the same way that they might on a, a stage with smaller platforms. Right. So this is a good stage for Vladim. Let's see if he's able to break Key Zone this time, though. Good couple of dancing blades from Vladim will send Key up to 62%, and offstage, the back air will not connect. But the offstage in this matchup is really interesting because Lucina is a great edge guarder. She can kill you off the side very effectively. But Snake is just so good at returning to the stage in, in turn. He has his uh, recovery as armor. His recovery can go for miles. So the question is, partially, can Vladin get this offstage kills on key? In this case, he did. Yeah, and as you said right there, 
Snake's, uh, Snake's Cypher is particularly difficult to intercept with a counter, so that might be not the best option on Valadin's part, but... He got him going high! It floats just well enough. It's slow enough to the point where back airs are much easier to land. It's a much slower target, and he will have to have his finger on the shoulder buttons at all times. Yeah, so Valadin has a lead right now, and it's partially the result of... Uh, he's not been able to get those strong setups. He's been put on the side. And after a while, if you put him on the side enough times, you're going to get him. Yeah, Harry's the grenade, but into the up tilt. Baladin finally out of his first stock a minute and 30 seconds. The in. customary up tilt, one might even say the traditional up tilt. It's his most searched for option. And it's an option he is just so excellent at landing over and over and over again. I'm just loving this. Baladin is dodging through all of these explosions, all of these grenades, but he just doesn't seem to be able to set up a zone this time. Now Key is out of a jump, so has to be very careful. Vlad not he able to get it, off though. in time. Grenade. One might even say that was a key play. I'm, I'm going to do this all set. Please I want you to know. The fair from Vladin chases him off and gets him fairly deep. Vladin will be the first to bring Key to his final stop. Yeah, this is looking pretty straightforwardly in Vladin's favor. Key is going to need to figure out a way to set up those zones, set up those explosions, and not on himself. Yeah, very unfortunate. Grabbed the grenade on accident with one of his aerials and just blew up right into one of Vladin's waiting. Almost died from falling off the side, but he is still Snake. So, extended edge trap situation. Finally managed to get up, do some damage to Valadin for once. Now places the C4, so the left side of the platform will be his real estate for the time being. Already has a grenade. Pulled, but not Oh, that was, some, that was some nice aerial play right there. Dodged around. The Cypher Keys, brought him back down. Huge hitboxes and still got the hit him. Down tilt into the tech chase. Two in a row, but reads the roll in with the Dancing Blade. That Vladen. was a great read. That was a fantastic read. I love it. Valadin just took it. He it's 1-1. One, one. It's one opportunity. It's, one, it's one. all you need. Love that read right there. Knew he was going to roll in because he was feeling so pressured. And that was death. There you go. He that was death. One might even say, don't do it. Please. Please, don't do it. But he, he Valadin did a really good job there. One might say that, I guess. He and Vladimir. Yeah, I guess that he, he really keyed in on uh, oh Key's habits. <laughs> all right. <laughs> I could do this all day. Okay. Okay, gotcha. let's go. Final destination. Game three onto FD. And this is going to be interesting. Snake's grenade placements have to be so different on stages without platforms or without central platforms at the very least. Because S still, Snake is a zoner, so the final destination is a good uh, stage for him. He is. And Snake doesn't necessarily have bad stages. He has good stages and very good stages. <laughs> I mean, that's just what ha life when you're a top tier. Perhaps. Strong edge guard right there. Use the grenade as a combo starter. And suddenly, he's in a pretty strong lead, though that depends entirely on if he's going to be able to get back on stage. Yeah, very bold from Vladin. Often go for the Dancing Blade, which would have landed him right on top of the C4. I love that. He used the grenades as a threat to force Vladin high up in the air. Wow, read the roll in with the up tilt. Vladin is already out of a stock less than a minute in. And Key's and, uh, Key's at 80, which effectively means that he's halfway through his stock. Uh, unless he gets edge guards. Oh, never mind. It didn't even matter. No. Snake, what can you do? Went above, and even with a returning Dolphin Slash, reads, does not read the tech roll in, and Key already has the stage control back. Oh, he ran in, and that was the wrong move. Vladim just could not get through that setup right there. Suddenly, we're back to game one and all of Key's setups, all of his explosions are just hitting their mark. Good, pulls the grenade and into the Dancing Blade. He's reading these tech rolls in, he's throwing out options, perhaps not hard punishes, but Vladin is inching his way back into this game. Moat goes for the edge guard, but again, Key manages to make it back in time. Dash attack from Key. And just how many projectiles does he have out at any given time? He's just pulling these labyrinths, and they're something that Vladin has been having mixed success with sort of navigating his way through. The stage is just so important here. Key is just taking the stage and he's holding it. And so much of his success has been using those explosives in order to hold stage. 
just have it too long at the ledge. He was hanging there, and at that high percent, your ledge invincibility is going to be much but less where, than it would. Where did could Vladin have even gone? Explosion, explosion, explosion. It was all up in his face. Yeah, he would have been too far for a Dolphin Slash and just bypassing the ledge to even reach, so he almost had every option covered there. See, that is something I would actually like to see a little bit more from Vladin, more using the shield break. And I understand it's an excellent call out on the jump from Key, 108%, but using that rage to full effect, and Vladin was in the talking. wrong page. You caught me talking. Wrong page just got red, just got up So next, it's going to be Vladin's stage pick, which is going to be important here, because what we've seen so far is that uh, Vladin, when he had stage pick, Wipe the floor with Key, and Key when he had stage trick, wipe the floor with Vladim. Interesting. Um, so back to PS2. That one's a, I, I saw that he was hovering over Kalo, so that makes that makes a lot of sense. I'm not sure his thought process with the PS2, but at the same time, Vladim is better than me at this game, so you shouldn't listen to me. Indeed. Vladim is opting to stick with Lucina, so keeping the Mario in the pocket for now. It is the character that brought him success in an early game this set and it could repeat the job if he just manages to get in, but good read on the roll in with the up smash. Yeah, Key's already setting up zone. It's starting to look a lot like last match. A couple of up tilts from Vladin, and up air as well. He's just juggling him, but the grenade will get him out of trouble. Yeah, the problem is, is that you can only juggle Snake for so long before you get hit by an explosion. Right. He's gonna figure it out. Still, it was enough to basically even out the percent, so that's what Vlad needs here. In some cases, it's quite literally a ticking time bomb that will get him right back into neutral. Tech's outwards, good from Key. Just had that tech just roll in covered in previous here. games. Vlad, if Vlad can get in, he can do a lot of damage here. Still, there's the getting in part, right? And so far, Key has been so good at, you, at catching him on the edge using the up smash, catching the rolls in particular. Yeah, even the Latin shield was just so small at that point. And one up smash had already put the pressure on for the second to finish it off. That's just how it works in this matchup. Explosion, explosion, explosion. And already has a grenade in hand, drops the shield right after it goes off, and the rapid jab will put the Latin already up to 66%. Snake is a character that takes particular advantage of Rage, and in this matchup where he depends on it to win perhaps these percent battles at mid-percents, it, it's just so useful. This is really just rough. You see damage piling up on Vladin. And before this can go from bad to worse for Vladin, finds it. He gets that beautiful forward smash. Yeah. Still, he's got to continue racking up the damage because so long as Key can slow it down, stuff like that's going to happen. He's going to get worked up into high percent, up tilt. Yeah, even at uh, just over 100%. Aladdin's still, on his, uh, he's on his winter, winter size stock, stock yeah. yeah. One up tilt. Just doesn't find anything at this low percent. Good read and the tech in place. Wanted to go for the back air and does. Key does not tech. He's living anyway, but he's going to have a hard I time getting back. I love that daring do right there, okay? He was like, you are, you want to go that far down? That's okay. I'll play with you. Yeah, it didn't work, but I respect it. Yeah, I love how gung-ho Vladin is just playing here. Has nothing to lose, and the Dolphin Slash... Good attack you're, you're very right. He has nothing to lose, so he he's attack, attack, attack. That's what he's got to be if he wants to have a chance here. One grenade placed on that center stage. Blows himself up. The risks of being a snake player. Yeah, does have the C4 planted in center stage, so that will discourage a few grounded approaches, but the grenades will discourage the approaches Camping via each other, other out a little bit. Still, Vladin off stage, and this is the most dangerous position because Keel has always been getting those kills no with edge traps. No follow up after the down tilt, and crosses him up with a dash attack. Has a grenade, he's facing backwards, gets the up tilt. Vladin. There it is. Key takes winner side, and he is going to go into grand finals with two sets to play with. Yeah, Vladin fell into that same trap over and over again. That Renee's, just seems like such a rough matchup. It is. I mean, if you don't have the momentum going your way, if you can't find an opening, Snake will find a way to close it out. What it came down to was, is